More than six months later, Taya Bautista still gets emotional as she remembers laying in a hospital bed, wondering if this was it. Was it her time to go? I was just like, okay, like, I lived a happy life. You know, I did what I did. Like, you know, like, this is all I can do. I was like, this is the end of it. Like, and if I go home with the Lord, then that's, then that's fine, you know. The 25-year-old was healthy and active despite a lupus diagnosis in high school. She couldn't believe she was in Kaiser's intensive care unit, hooked up to several tubes and wires, barely able to move or breathe. Taya's parents were also terrified. To just see it all come to a stop, her being so independent and her needing our help more than usual, it was just, it, it was scary. Taya was admitted to Kaiser in April, following two previous visits to the emergency room, when doctors diagnosed her with a gastrointestinal infection, but she felt sicker, weaker, and more tired. She could uh, barely move her legs, uh, her arms. Um, we did a lot of uh, extensive diagnostic testing for her. Continue to pray for me. I'm ready to go home. Taya was later diagnosed with a rare disease known as MOGAD. Myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein antibody associated disease. You start to see a breakdown of the lining of the nerves uh, throughout our central uh, uh, nervous system, uh, all the way up into the brain, into the eyes, uh, and down into the spinal cord. With a clear diagnosis, Teo was discharged and she began treatment, which includes intensive rehabilitation at San Joaquin Valley Rehabilitation Hospital. It's going amazing. They actually, if you go onto their website, they actually did a success story on me as well. Taya went from a wheelchair to a walker, and she now will use a cane occasionally. Doctors didn't expect her to walk so soon, but they aren't surprised, describing their patient as a fighter. We supported her body through this, but it, you know, it, was, it was her fight that got her through it. And when you ask Taya, she says that fight in her was only possible through faith, her family, and the care she got at Kaiser. Thank you for doing your guys' just like, not doing your job, but like connecting on her like another level, like on a personal level, you know, like and not a lot of people get that. As she continues to recover, Taya and her family can only smile, knowing God wasn't ready to take her from the world. Amanda Aguilar, ABC 30 Action News.